The Hobbit fans turned out for midnight showings in the mountains, too, and some of them enjoyed the film in a classic setting. News 13's Victoria Dunkel is streaming live from Brevard, and Vic, you're at the historic co-ed theater. Yes, I am. In fact, it really is just a throwback to the... The old days of theaters when it was one screen, one focal point, and this time it was The Hobbit. They had a midnight showing, and uh, actually the staff stuck around because they knew we were coming and, and put in a long night. And Mark Petty actually owns the theater here. We were talking about some of the history of the co-ed theater. How did it get this name? Uh, around 1933, we the lore goes <laughs> that when the college went from an all-female college to a co-ed college, they changed the name to the co-ed theater, to the co-ed cinema, to coincide with it. Now, this theater is uh, really taking on the charm and the, the look of traditional theaters, as people would think of it, the Art Deco look. How much effort have you put in here to kind of really give people this chance to experience history while enjoying the latest technology and movies? The first thing we needed to do was get new seats, which we were able to do, 235 of them. We bought it five years ago. Then we redid the entire front with Look the, at this lobby. It's beautiful. the collaboration of all the staff to redo the Art Deco style. And then we went to, uh, then we had to get the digital projector and sound to be able to keep up with technology and what the community demanded and the patrons demanded. So now we can get these films. Well, we're going to take a closer look at some more aspects of the theater throughout the morning and talk about some of the excitement of the fans who got here for Midnight Showing of The Hobbit. It's a three-hour movie, and I heard everyone was very willing to sit through the whole thing to the very last minute. They're reporting live in Brevard, Victoria Dunkel News 13. And Hobbit fans here in the mountains enjoyed the midnight showing in a historic setting. News 13's Victoria Dunkel is live at the Coed Cinema in Brevard. And Victoria, it's like walking back in time. It really is. This is an Art Deco setting here in the lobby of the theater. And just a few hours ago, it was a Hobbit theater as the fans of The Hobbit got their first chance to see the movie. Now, T.J. Burns has been a shift supervisor here at the uh, theater for years. You've actually worked here a long time. You've seen the theater really come into its own. What makes this theater so special for fans like The Hobbit fans to come and see it? Well, first off, it's more personal experience and just a sense of community because a lot of people coming here, they all know each other. So it's really just a good sense everyone can get together and just enjoy as experiences as one. So have a good time. Now, of course, everyone wants to know how the movie was. What was the take? Because I understand you guys really you welcome the guests in and then you check and make sure what as they're leaving. So what was the word on that movie? The word on the movie is that it's really good. Um, it's really long, but it's rewarding. And but yeah. People are willing to sit. How long is it in the movie? It's uh, upwards of three hours. Whoa. Yeah, but they were willing to sit through it and they had a good time. Everyone came out smiling, talking about it. Now, what's the best part about um, working here and watching people come in and kind of, because when you walk through the doors, if you've not been here, when you walk through the doors, you're going to go, wow, just at the decor and the whole atmosphere. It was really fun is working with some of tourists come in and they're just absolutely shocked by seeing that place like this exists. So that, that, that's a lot of fun. And then, you know, just seeing people that you see, see all the time, you have a lot of regulars. You know, sometimes, you know, you see kids they're this high, and then, you know, five years later, they're like this high. So you're seeing kids grow up. So it's a tradition. It's a family event, and it's a lot of fun. And if you haven't had a chance to come out and check out a movie in a theater like this, you really need to. They've got fully digitized movie production here, so you're going to see high-quality movie in a really amazing historic setting. Coming up, we're going to take a look at some of the technology that makes it all happen. Reporting live in Brevard, Victoria Dunkel, News 13. And that enthusiasm has spread here to the mountains. News 13's Victoria Dunkel is live in Brevard, where fans enjoyed a state-of-the-art viewing. Victoria, you're in the nerve center of the co-ed cinema, right? Yes, I am. This is the projection room. And for decades, this is where they would bring in the big celluloid reels, and they'd load them up on this projector. But times, they are changing, and they have been changing. The co-ed cinema is one of the first that really went all uh, digital and really upgraded their uh, equipment here. I'm here with Mark Petty, the owner, and we've got Rebecca Pardue, he's the manager, and you actually help get this set up and running here. Tell us about the upgrade and what it allows to have happen. Okay. This is how our drive comes to us in these boxes, and it's just a hard drive. There's two ways we can connect it. We can slip it in much like a floppy disk from old computers, or we can take all of these cords and it becomes a USB port, and that's how we download the movie. Once it's on the computer, it's there. We don't need this anymore. Okay. We create shows, and as you can see on our computer, we have one auditorium, one screen. Mm -hmm. We set up everything. It's on an automatic schedule, and once we turn the machine on, we don't have to touch it. 
that is such a big difference, Mark, since when, from when you first took over, there were the theater films that were coming in. How did this come about? This wasn't an easy project to get it digital ready, was it? No, it really wasn't. For one thing, all of this weighs a ton, so it's not going anywhere. But the mayor, Jimmy Harris, and the city manager, Joe Moore, along with the city council, worked with us very much to extend our lease so that we could afford to get this $85,000 piece of equipment wow. in here with a crane over the balcony. That's impressive, and it really does deliver state-of-the-art, digital-quality movies in a more than 100-year-old theater. I mean, it is incredible. We're going to go down next time, take a seat, and just check out the view that you can enjoy when you check out classic movies and the latest releases here at the Coed Cinema. And we're Mark, Victoria Apple, News 13. The Mountains fans turned out for midnight showings of The Hobbit 2, and dozens of them took a seat for the show in a historic theater. News 13's Victoria Dunkel is live at the Coed Cinema in Brevard. And Vic, this is actually a refurbished venue now. It is. They've actually taken great steps to really bring it back to life. These are some new seating that have been brought in here. And um, the look in the theater, though, has stayed true to the original ideas of what these theaters were. Single screen, uh, you come in and really there's not a bad seat in the house. And this whole approach is such a part of Brevard's history. It's really a family affair. In fact, a couple of the gals here who work here happen to be sisters. We are talking to Michelle and Claire Dubois. And it, you actually were here for the midnight show weren't you? Yes. Yes, we were. <laughs> okay, so you were welcoming in the fans. What was their reaction and what was their, you know, anticipation of the movie heading in? We had a lot of fans who were very excited. Some came dressed in costume um, and they spoke with us and then after the show they're they're very excited to come and see the next two Hobbit movies in yeah. the next couple of years. And they cannot wait really. This is excitement now. But you see this kind of response when you have your movie premieres here all the time. People make this their destination for why is this theater different from the others when it comes to enjoying a movie experience? It's really a more personal experience. You get the interaction with the customers a lot more here at the co-ed and we smile, we shake hands and we're able to express more of the history about the building as well. And that history is amazing. It goes back roughly 109 years. That's how long the building has been operating as a theater. It's never had another type of existence other than being a theater. You can learn all about it at the website, the co-ed uh, cinema's website. We have a link to that at WLOS.com. Just click on more info. And you can also find out how long the Hobbit's uh, showings are going to be, when you can get in and check out that, and the other movies that might be coming along to uh, really give you the full traditional historic experience of going to a movie theater and really enjoying the show. Reporting live in Brevard, Victoria Dunkel, News 13.